Hi everyone, so today I'm doing a review of the Avon Shine Attract lipsticks. Now before I go any further, I have got a cold and a little bit of a cough, so that's why I sound a bit weird on this video, but hopefully you'll bear with me. So I'm just going to show you what the product's like, give you a bit of an overview about it and tell you what I think, and I hope you like this video. Okay, so first of all, I'm going to give you a little bit of information about the product. These lipsticks, they are in a range of ten different colours. I've got two of them, but I'll certainly be likely to be picking up more. So the colours that I've got here are Cherry Pie and Natural Glow. I'm just going to show you what they look like up close. So I've got the Cherry Pie one here. I'm going to take off the lid. As you can see, that the lid is clear which is good because obviously if it's in your handbag and you've got more than one of them then you can see which colour it is you've got so if I just twist it up there you should be able to see that down the centre it's got the pigmented core so it's got the actual colour to the lipstick and then around the sides is a sort of gel texture so it's completely clear I don't know if I twist it up more you should be able to see that it's completely clear and just goes straight through there. These lipsticks are so moisturising. It's meant to be that gel core that's the thing that's moisturising about them. But they are so hydrating and so glossy on your lips, it's unbelievable really. And they're the sort of colours that can be built up. So a quick swipe would give you an ever so slight bit of colour. But if you go over them a couple of times, it really does bring a, a good colour to your lips. So I'm just going to show you what they look like after one swatch and then after a couple of swatches. So this is cherry pie, I'll just show you on my hand, there's barely anything there, you can see a slight bit of red, but if I go backwards and forwards, it really does make that colour more intense. I'm going to show you the natural glow, this will probably be difficult to see on camera, but it's a sort of brick brown red. On your lips though, it does look really kind of natural until you really build it up. So there's one sort of swatch of it. It's actually lighter in person than it is on camera, which makes a change. But there's a couple of swatches and you can see it's more of a brown tone. So that's natural glow. I'll just see if I can catch the shine actually. There it is. You can see that the shines either side. It's through the middle as well, but you can tell a lot on my skin either side. So that I could give you a proper honest review and kind of keep it fair, I've worn these over the past week. I've worn both colours so that we know it's not just kind of one colour that's good or anything like that. But these are so lovely to apply, really easy to apply whereas you don't really need a mirror that much. Obviously if you're really building up the colour then you might want to check in a mirror. but. I'd probably say that they last between two and three hours. Obviously, most people by then would have eaten something or had a drink. So, obviously, like anything else, it is going to come away once you've had, once you've maybe drunk something. But generally, the wear on these do last really well. And as I said, they're, they're easy to apply anyway when you do need to apply. What I'm going to say now does seem to be a little bit, I don't know, it might be a controversial sort of thing, but I think that these are a good alternative to the Revlon Colour Burst Lip Butters. Now, obviously, the lip butters aren't out in the UK yet. I believe they don't come out until next month. So, obviously, I don't know for sure, having not tried them out myself. But what I mean is the fact that they're buildable colour, glossy and kind of hydrating to your lips that's what made me think that they were quite similar and also that they've got the clear cap I know that the lip butters are kind of an opaque coloured cap 
and then the top is completely clear. So it was that kind of concept that made me think that they could potentially be similar. If they're not similar, then obviously I do think that they're a really good alternative anyway, and I would recommend them. I certainly will be buying more of these. With regards to the price, in the Avon books, these are standard price are £8.50, but it seems that Avon, like always, always, are always doing kind of special offers. So I paid £5 each for these, but at the moment, in this current Avon book, they're £5 each, but you get a free lip liner. So, I mean, kind of that works out to what? A couple of pounds for the lip liner, a couple of pounds for the lipstick. So it really is kind of a, a good price anyway. With regards to the lip butters, the um, I've checked on the Revlon website for America and they're $7.49, which I've worked that out to be £4.80. So again, the same sort of price range as to when the Avon ones are on offer. So they do seem to be really good. They are really well pigmented and as I said, completely buildable. So, you know, they are something you can wear in the day and something that you can build up into the evening. So I do recommend them. If you've already tried them out, then by all means leave a comment in the box below. I'd love to hear from you. But I hope you like this video and thanks very much for watching.